If you want to learn how to store milk for long term and go from this cold milk in the fridge to a shell stable mason jar powdered milk, well, stay tuned. This video is for you. Hello everyone, and here the little Frenchie in Dick, Texas. So today I want to try an experiment with you. I want to try to freeze dry milk. Yes, milk, the one you have in your fridge. I did a bit of research and from what I read, you should be able to just pour it on your tray, put it in your freeze dryer, and then get some of that um, powdered milk, like, you know, the one you get at the store that's actually pretty expensive. I have one here. So I'm hoping to get something similar to this. We will see. So I have some uh, whole milk in the fridge. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna remove this uh, here and pour some on the tray and put it in the freeze dryer and we will see what we get when it's over. Experiment. So here I poured the milk in the kitchen and carried the trays to the freeze dryer and that was actually pretty uh, difficult uh, not to spill any milk. Uh, so I've done another run after that and I poured the milk directly with the trays in the freeze dryer. So I would recommend doing that. Of course you need to be careful, you don't want to have a spill of milk inside the freeze dryer. But I found it a lot more... Uh, a lot easier let's put it this way uh, no spill on the way to the freeze dryer so I would recommend doing it uh, directly in there by slightly putting a tray out but here they are ready so what's the texture here All right, yeah, it turns into powder. I guess if you put this in your food processor, you're gonna get powder or just pour it into a bag. As I said, this is whole milk, so it's a lot more fatty than what I would like. Um, here I would probably try to do it with the one or two percent milk it's going to be less fat and it will keep longer but that's exactly what you get powdered milk my ninja look at it powdered milk just like what you can get from the store and I just did two trays that's how much you get it reduces tremendously uh, but yeah two more trays to go let's see how much we get and whether we fill up a jar so overall very easy to do it just gets a bit messy here with the powder because it is so light when I use my blender it just uh, all the little ones that have, like felt around flow on around the room but aside from that very easy to do just like the store much cheaper homemade and hopefully we last a lot longer as well if you package it well so we're just gonna add an oxygen absorber here and that will be it. So 
Here you go. To this, I am going to add an oxygen absorber and close it very quickly after. And we should be done. There you go. And that is it powdered milk just using the milk from the store your freeze dryer and then processed it in a blender and you'll get the powdered milk just as easy as that I highly recommend extremely easy to do so here to give you an idea of the quantity I used a bit less than my gallon uh, bottle of milk from the fridge uh, to fill up the four trays and I ended up with a bit more than the large mason jar you see here. I had some powdered milk left uh, in my uh, blender and started the second jar. So that's how much uh, I made here. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Thank you all for watching.